What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Renegade. If you tune in, make sure to subscribe and like the video. I really appreciate it. As you can see, Can Am just redesigned the 2023 Outlander and Outlander Pro. But this thing has been getting a lot of hate for some odd reason. Somebody said it looked like Honda Steroids or Arctic Cat, even a CF Moto. Come on, guys. Let's give this thing some respect. This thing got some dang pretty good pros. I'm not going to lie. So, guys, let's hop into it. We are starting with the Outlander Pro. As you can see, the starting price is $7,300. I have been seeing a lot of hate for this bad boy here. This particular model is for strictly for work and hunting. This is reaching a more broader audience, and it's nothing too crazy. It's something just to get the job done. I like the styling of it, to be honest. Um, people think it probably would look more generic, but... Can we not look at what the four-wheeler has to offer, especially for a customer who is not trying to spend too much on a four-wheeler and just trying to get the job done, something more easier? I mean, just look at the different uh, lineups they have, um, as y'all can see, what well, the models. Uh, and unfortunately, all of them uh, have a single cylinder. I have seen people uh, comp complaining about that. But, I mean, I guess it's just more economical. Um, but as y'all can see, it's just for strictly for work and uh, hunting and all that. Um, and I believe all these come with good behind ground clearance coming from a uh, factory, uh, which is pretty damn good. And uh, that's I'm, I'm not really digging too deep into it. I'm just touching up. But I have just been uh, touching up on it. Rather, it was on a uh, Facebook group or any other um, websites or uh, Instagram. Uh, that's I just seen people complaining. Uh, it looked more accessible to work on too with these maintenance intervals. And that's just pretty much it. I'm just, you know, looking through the different storage options with the rear rack, you know, more things just to keep your stuff uh, safe and all that. Um, but it don't look bad at all. It really don't look bad. It's more efficient, uh, to be honest. Uh, it's just like with uh, Chevy with their Corvette and, you know, them offering the cruise and all that little stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, we are looking at the 500s and 700s. A lot of people been wondering about the 850s and the thousands if they was going to come out with something. Uh, in that area, people been wanting the V-Twin and these bad boys. Uh, but I am... Kind of concerned with the single, uh, single cylinder, especially uh, going uh, in the mud and all that, uh, because I don't know if it's going to, you know, hold up to get you out of sticky situations and all that. But we will see till time comes. But like I said, off the gate, they do have great ground clearance uh, for more better cornering. Uh, they also have uh, a big little opening for better airflow just to dissipate all the heat. And also they claim that it's supposed to be a. Uh, less maintenance uh intervals and all that's supposed to be easy and also they got more storage uh than you have in your own car and also they also got the console extension they also got a storage where you can put your phone in everything's supposed to be watertight um but that's just pretty much it that's uh what they offer and all that uh like i said it's like seemed to be more eco friendly in a way um they don't look too bad but a lot of people saying it look generic chinese people just hate the look of it but i feel like it will grow on folks um but it they might be left uh laughed at too but like i said we will see uh once they put to the test uh especially with uh these models and stuff especially with the single cylinder and yeah time will tell y'all let me know y'all opinion on uh this new lineup did can went backwards or did they went forward tell me y'all opinion what y'all think they should have done um did you think they listening to the customers or what like i said i feel like they probably just uh targeting uh a a, a more uh newer audience uh, that's looking for something uh more affordable and just to get into the atv scene uh that's my take uh and probably just to, to get above like the other competitors and all that um you know 
I mean, which can and are, but I guess they lack in certain things um, in certain areas. I feel they probably feel like they got to work on a certain area to get better. But I don't know. We'll see, guys. Y'all let me know. Y'all subscribe. Like this video. Uh, comment, man. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, like I said, I just been seeing a lot of controversy between, uh, you know, on this lineup. And it's just been crazy. It's a love and hate. But like I said, you never know. It might grow on you. Um, so I see y'all. Y'all be safe out there. Peace.